hi guys thank you again for joining this tutorial so in the last session we saw how to return a list of objects as XML data from the REST service now what about returning object which contains the list for example we are returning a list of books which was a list here now what happens if I want to return an object which contains these books so you might think like when this will be useful so assume that there is a shopping basket of books and it contains the this list of books and I also want to include the price total price of the list so I want to return that entire set as XML data so we will see today how to do that so what we have to do is first of all we see this book object which was converted into list uh, earlier and we sent back now we will create a books object which is going to contain list of books as well as the total price so I'll copy this file and I'll paste it here and I'll just say books Create it now. We will open this file, and since this is going to be represented as XML element, the root element will be called books. So I am just telling it that okay, we'll call it books. This books object is going to contain list of books. So let's remove this, and we will say list of book and we'll call it like box this is one we'll import the list next is we will add total price so we'll say int total price okay now we will add the getters and setters so to go to source generate getters and setters I'll select both of them and that's all so it has created a structure for me to hold the books as well as the total price now what we next need to do is we'll go back to our rest service it's still going to accept a book and we will add this book to the list and we will add the price also and return that so this method is now going to return the books objects books object which we are going to tell the return type so one second so make it books and let's initialize that let's call it book card equals new books will import it now in this book cart we'll set the box which is nothing but the books list we will also set the price cart set total price let's say it's 75 and uh, we will return the book card okay so let's review what all we did we, earlier we were, we were uh, returning a list of book as array list or uh, java util list now we are not doing that we have created a basic structure a book card object which is represent, which is representing the books dot java this one has got like books list of books and the total price so we are whatever list was created the list which was created is getting set in the book set books of the book card and price we just hard coding it to 75 and finally we are return, returning the book card so let's try to access this uh, service and see what happens or oh, let's pick and post 
example so what happens is we will get the inputs ready made we don't have to write it on with our hands so I'm going to send a XML request XML body with uh, another book mentioned here now we will submit the request and see so as we can see it is returning the three books and as well as the price so this is how we need to return container object which contains list it could contain price it could contain any other details also so you can easily create a rest service which returns a object container which contains many other small objects or other objects 